Exclusive. A royal commentator has cast doubt over whether Princess Eugenie and Princess Beatrice could help to rehabilitate their father's public image. Princess Eugenie and Princess Beatrice may struggle to help Prince Andrew back into the royal fold and the public eye as they are not very popular, a royal commentator has said. Though he pointed out that the Duke of York may use his daughters to rehabilitate his public image. While Andrew's daughters have not been painted with the same brush as him, royal biographer Andrew Lowney told Express.co.uk that it is likely that the pair are seen as a backup team as they are not as well liked as other members of the firm such as the Duchess of Edinburgh and her daughter, Lady Louise Windsor. The traitor king author said Eugenie and Beatrice's increased public presence could be a neat way to rehabilitate Prince Andrew. But he said an increased presence is unlikely as both have young families and are limited on how much time they can work despite the fact they most likely want to keep up their royal appearances, he said. The Duke of York's children and ex-wife Sarah Ferguson have stood by him during the Jeffrey Epstein scandal which led to his forced royal retirement in 2019. Mr. Lowney suggested that his daughters, who are not considered working royals, would struggle to help him back into public life. Mr. Lowney suggested that his daughters, who are not considered working royals, would struggle to help him back into public life. He said, the feeling is the sins of the father shouldn't affect the children, but neither Eugenie nor Beatrice have the popularity of the Duchess of Edinburgh or her daughter. They will be seen as a backup team. A recent poll by Ipsos Mori, published in April, ranked the daughters as the joint least popular ahead of Andrew, who came in last. The princesses followed Meghan Markle and Queen Camilla. But the princesses have been making headlines of late. Princess Eugenie announced this week that she gave birth to her second son, Ernest George Ronnie, on May 30. In a post on Instagram, the 33-year-old shared the news of her and husband Jack Brooksbank's new baby who is named after his great-great-great-grandfather George, his grandpa George and my grandpa Ronald. Princess Beatrice joined Prince William and Kate, Princess of Wales, in Jordan at the wedding of Crown Prince Hussein to architect Rajwa Alsif. And over the course of the coronation weekend, Beatrice and Eugenie made a surprise appearance together at a garden party in Buckinghamshire. But Mr. Lowney doubts whether this will continue as they have little time to dedicate to royal engagements. He continued, they have young families and, although I suspect they are keen to stay within the royal fold, I think the time they can give to royal duties will be limited. That said, it would be a neat way back to rehabilitating Andrew. Another option Andrew has, Mr. Lowney explained, is to rehabilitate himself through good work, although he thought this coming to fruition was unlikely. The next would be to try and clear his name by writing a book, taking legal action or undertaking another interview. The Duke of York infamously gave an interview on Newsnight which was widely deemed disastrous and ultimately instigated his downfall. The Duke was reportedly contemplating writing a memoir which has been dubbed Spare 2.0. But doing any of the options listed above, Mr. Lowney said, would be disastrous. His final, and the most likely to be taken option, is to retire from public life and only appear on family occasions, as was seen recently when he attended King Charles's coronation. Beatrice and Eugenie have reportedly sought to help their father get the sign-off to return back to royal duties in the past, but this was rejected by the king. An anonymous source told The Sun last year that Charles said there was no chance Andrew could return to public life as he is resolute, that the Queen's decision to strip away the Duke's titles and use of HRH not be reversed. A summit was allegedly held last summer on the Balmoral Estate in Scotland after holding a business meeting with Andrew. But their pleas were said to have fallen on deaf ears. Royal commentator Sarah Robertson told GB News in May that Charles only wants to bring Andrew back into the royal fold in a private capacity, 
not a public capacity.